I don't think I was really hired to be like the auteur of the, of the piece, I, you know, whatever that word means. I think I was brought in to be part of a collaboration with Andrew McDonald, the producer, and Alan and Alex and Kazuo to find a way to bring this great book to the screen and not mess it up, basically. And, you know, I was very excited. When I read the book, I was very moved by it. And I was very excited by the notion of it being a film, but I was a little daunted by it because it's very original, it's very delicate. There really aren't a lot of templates. There's not a lot of, tonally, there's not a lot of films like it. And so I think my job was to try to create, tonally, create something that was harmonious. And that could start to, tr I was trying to cre create like a, a, a visual grammar that might, might approximate a, an analog for the way Kazuo tells his story. It's, it, the truths in the film are pretty disturbing. Um, but the way that Kazuo writes is so beautiful that they're delivered in a very gentle way. And I was trying to find a way to do that visually and with a lot of help from my producers and my team. Ka Kazuo writes very deceptively simple sentences. And so I was trying to just fil make the film simply, as simply as we could, but as evocatively as we could at the same time. So we continued with the help of everyone, we continued to pare it down to try to tell this, to shoot the scenes as beautifully but as simply as we, as we could. Um, I like for everyone to be as stressed out as possible. <laughs> no, I mean, it's, it's, it's str it's str it can be very stressful making a movie. There's a lot of, the director's under a lot of time pressure and, and there's a lot, usually it's kind of a state of continual crisis management and you have to try to not show that on your face so that everyone can, you know, d be as relaxed as it's possible under the circumstances and, and, you know, feel free to do their most original and daring work. And, you know, it's a, it's a, I think when you, I, this is the second film I've made that's kind of bleak and uh, sad. And uh, both of them tended to be pretty joyful as we were making them. I mean, because you can't, you can't between takes maintain that, that level of, of, of uh, heaviness, you know, you have to let it go. So I think, I, I mean, I found it to be the greatest professional experience of my life. And a lot of the reason for it was a general sense that this had all come together in a really beautiful way with great people. And I mean, I'm gonna say something in front of Alan here, but I, I mean it sincerely, it doesn't really get said very often that if films come out well, They've been beautifully produced. You know, sometimes producers have yeah, yeah, uh, there's yeah. a pejorative attached to the idea of, of the producer. But my, you know, all a director really wants is for their idea of the film to be kind of believed in and supported so they can do their best work, just like you want to help the, the actors do their best work. And I was very, very beautifully supported on this film. The film was creatively produced. They were thinking creatively. How can I, how can we help make this a better movie? How can we help Mark make it a better movie? How can we think of things that maybe he hasn't thought of and, and kind of watch his back? And that, that's a rare thing.